up YouTube, it's Adam back here and today I have another video. This time it is my custom 327th Heavy Gunner. So this figure kind of belongs to 327th but he also kind of doesn't. Um, he was more of a custom design but um, I'm probably just going to end up calling him the 327th Heavy Gunner but um, I really like the color design that I picked for this figure. Uh, I think it blends really well and it kind of reminded me of that song Black and Yellow if uh, you haven't heard that before. But um, yeah, so this figure took a while to make and that is why I have not been uploading much of lately. Um, I also have a haul coming soon. Um, but yeah, so mainly this figure has a lot of different details and he's really quite intricate um he took a long time to make but i'm um, starting out with the helmet so the helmet has some gray detailing on the sides yellow going down the middle black on the outsides and the fin and some more yellow detailing on the back of the helmet he has a neck guard and the basic clone face and then he has some detailing on both arms. He has two pieces that are black with a white with or with a yellow stripe and one piece in the middle that's just yellow. And the design is the same on both sides and he has little um, little kind of shields almost on each side. But um, yeah, so he also has a um, a little molded piece right here just to represent some ammo pouch or something like that and he has some yellow pieces with black or yellow painting with black stripes he also has um, it's hard to see but this figure is mainly for display purposes um, that's how I made him the chain isn't really made for removal but um, yeah, so he has a couple little pockets, if you can see. Um, yeah, he has little black dots in between them. Uh, in between the middle of each pocket, he has some black painting with some yellow stripes. And I used electrical tape to make his cape. Uh, turn, I think it turned out pretty good. And he also has some black knee pads with yellow uh, detailing and a black uh, fabric but um, now onto the backpack and the rest of that uh, so this is a custom molded backpack and I attached a little grenade uh, which has brown detailing and a black top and bottom and then he has a little place where the chain goes in to um, give the ammo to the chain gun and then he has some detailing on the back of the backpack. It's just these little bead details. And he has a black back to tank. Uh, I was going to paint it white, but I figured it would go with the color um, if it was black. So then his chain gun, or mini gun, whatever you want to call it, is made up of the blaster that I painted, that I filled in with clay in the middle. And then I painted the edge of it gray and I attached four toothpicks on the end and I wrapped them up with metal and I made a metal piece on the end along with a extra handle for the so it could be dual handed and the chain that feeds into the gun wraps all the way around and goes in and it hooks up in both places so yeah Overall, this figure is really cool, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe for more. And this is goodbye, and have a nice day.